just need a team like that that they're looking to get into the tournament. They know coming in here and getting a win would, would go a long way. How do you fight that off and, and, and make that comeback in the second half and get the win? Um, coming in with the same energy we had first half. You know, first half, you know, we created uh, 15 turnovers. You know, so in the second half, we only created two. And that was a big difference between the game. You know, they went up a nine-point lead. And, you know, it showed. It showed that we, you know, didn't bring all that energy in the uh, first half like we did the second half. But down the stretch, you know, we got back to playing defense first. You missed the first three. were able to bang in the second one there mm -hmm. again. That's just the confidence of the, erase, the, erase the memory and, and shoot the next one. Yeah, ahead. coach always tells us, you know, you know, you miss a shot, you know, you make a turnover, get it back on defense, you know, don't worry about it. You know, worry about what's, what I, we need to focus on for the team. Yeah, it's a, everybody's an option. You know, you know, coming off, you know, Jaren get the ball, you know, he do whatever, and you know, if he ain't got nothing, everybody need to spot up or everybody need to go ahead and be ready to shoot or make a layup. You described that shot, you know, the semi hook over fall, gave you guys the lead. Um, just confidence, you know, at, at the end of the shot clock, you know, just just playing basketball. You know, everybody was making sure they they in their right position, and you know, taking that shot was the right decision for that play. Did you feel like you shot it over him or around him? <laughs> I oh, don't know. Luckily, I got on it off the glass. <laughs> was, that, was that middle school Justin? Yeah, yeah. Brought me back a lot of memories shooting that. <laughs> how, how big did that hole look? It looked like kind of the seed part of there for a second. Well, it, looked, it, it, looked pretty, it looked pretty good. You know, the gap that I had, you know, getting to the basket, you know, I, you know, I took a leap of faith, you know, and I shot it and it went in. <laughs> so, you know, it just, you know, we focused on the win today. And um, it was a great team win, great defense to win today. Um, you know, shots gonna come and go. You know, as long as we go ahead and lock in on defense and lock into the scouting report, I know we're gonna win. Keith, we're gonna let you talk to that school. Uh, yeah. You guys have won so many times in a row in this building against the American Conference foes. Is that the kind of confidence you rely on in a game like this when you're down eight in the second half? Yeah, just the fans, you know, bringing that energy with us, just just playing hard, you know. Plus the fans just screaming like loud, just cheering for us, just to give us that like, like I say, like extra push. To, to be honest. You've had a couple second halves this year where you played really well. Is it about you getting the flow of the game? Is it you feeling like you have a chance to take over? Why are you so big on those moments? I was, well, the well, only, only thing I can say is just, just playing hard, worrying about defense and rebound. The offense is going to come. So if it helps, well, it worked tonight. So I just got to just keep playing hard. That's all. Justin, do you get, do anything different in practice? How do you get to prepare? For a seven foot six guy. You get coaches with like <laughs> I mean, you know, we, we just take it as a grain of salt, you know, coming into the game. Um, you know, someone that big is not normal. So, you know, we just <laughs> we just come in, we gotta follow the scouting report. Whatever the scouting report says in practice, that's what we follow. <laughs> I get there before he get there. Put it high as That's possible. It Put it as high as possible <laughs> so he can't get it. <laughs> yeah, it, it was something it was the, in the shot clock. And, you know, I got I got to put something up. Keith, do you guys like have a sense where like Allen did a really good job on Jaron and kind of was able to slow him down? Is there a feeling like we we got to step up and kind of fill yeah. that scoring void and yeah. make some things happen? Yeah, because you know each game Jaron's a uh, leading scorer, so you know teams are gonna try to trap him like just. Disturb, like disturb him. So we just gotta just step up to be honest and just get ready. Trey's had a couple threes this year, but not quite that big. Is that just? I know it's the end of the shot clock, but how far he's come to be able to take and make a shot like that? Confidence, to be honest, just confidence. Uh, that's exactly what it is. You know, I, like I said, I didn't been with Trey, and, you know, in them late nights, you know, working on that, you know. And I told him, you know, once you if you get that shot to three, you know, I I know he's capable of making it, and I keep telling him to take it. Did you know Jaron was going to find you on the shot, the big shot? You Always. I know Jaron got his head up. Jaron, that's what people don't get. You know, he's he's the leading scorer on our team, but, you know, he's an awesome passer. Did you take one, Keith, yeah. early on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, oh, look, yeah. Y he know how that feel, too. <laughs> oh, man. That was crazy, but I just had to just stay strong. <laughs> <laughs> Pray for you. Yeah. Wow. Scary uh -huh. moment right there. Anything else? No. Thanks.
Thanks, guys. Thanks, fellas. I appreciate it.